Hey guys, so I've always wanted to share how I remove my hair fuzz from my face. Um, I have been doing this for years. I love the way my makeup goes on when I have no hairs on my face. I mean, I have very thin hair anyway, and it's pretty light, but I feel like it makes a world of a difference. And then like once you start getting rid of your stash, it's like something you have to keep up with um, consistently, you know, because you don't want to have like long stashes, right? That's a girl. I've always wanted to share this on my channel, but I never have. And actually, I feel like it like recently within the past few months, I feel like it became a trend. Um, like there's this satisfying videos where you can see like what it looks like when everything's coming off. So I'm like, damn it again, I my ideas and I don't follow through and then like they just start coming out and it's like, damn it, I thought of that like years ago, but I just didn't share. So anyways, um, I don't know if I'll be doing this with a voiceover or not. Like my kids are here. We are in quarantine. So the kids are next door doing some gym work for school. Yep, that's them. These tools that I've been using is what I first originally started with. So it's just these eyebrow razors. They come in like a three pack normally. They also have, this is like one of those, but they also have the ones that bend, that, that fold over for like safety to travel or whatever. Um, so I love these because you can actually adjust this. So I prefer these over these, okay? And usually I would get them in any like, um, like beauty supply store. Um, nowadays you can even find them like at Walmart. I'm sure Walgreens has them. Sally's Beauty Supply has them, but I, back in the day, when I used to do this before, you know, it was all over social media, um, I would just find them at my good old beauty supply store where you get your wigs. Re like, not recently, but like a year or two, maybe longer than that ago, I actually purchased this flawless uh, razor, I guess. I don't know what you call this. It's like, it's like a haircut for your face, basically, right? And all you do is it has batteries and then you just go up and then it like buzzes everything off this is what the top looks like i'm filming this with my phone so i don't know if you'll be able to see and this is does not hurt at all um so these are definitely my both methods that i prefer i've never waxed my entire face the only other thing i've done is laser and it like the first time was not painful at all but as i kept going i feel like my pain was increasing so that's why i didn't finish the session uh, but anyways that's my story so let's just get started on how i do this just make sure you have nothing on your face okay moisturizer from like last night i don't think it's a big deal but just some pointers that I want to point out. Always make sure that when you start at your hairline, you know what like you're going for, okay? Because I have really light hair, so I don't feel like I have to worry much. But there's girls out there that I'm sure have darker um, like baby hair. So you just really want to make sure that you know what you're going for. Um, maybe don't get as close to your hairline. Maybe just keep some as baby hair so that way you don't mess it up. I really never go up too far up but um i always go in the direction of the hair so the hair is like if you were to pet your hair or like like if you go down you're going towards the hair growth if you're going up you're going against the hair growth right so i'm just gonna go ahead and shave in the direction of like my hair like the way it's lying if you know what i mean i for my for my um what is this called for my sideburn Jackie it's called sideburn thank God for editing I always like to also try to keep it natural so I go like in the natural like way so I'll, I'll go like this which you'll see in a second and just keep going down now never ever please take a regular razor and put that on your face because I feel like that will just give you like like it will grow back thicker for me, this has always worked. My hair has never grown back thicker. This is like an easy solution. Like sometimes if like I haven't done my face, like right now I haven't done my face in a while, um, but I have like my stash. This is like super easy. I was just to like go out or something and had to do my face and want to get rid of my stash or even if I'm not putting on makeup. This is like super easy. You just go, like I said, down. I follow my hair growth and then just remove it and that's it. Um, mainly I use this for like all over. If I'm not getting the clean effect, like like a super clean, clean effect with this, I rely on this bad boy. But 
you know, we can do both just for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one and I'm going to start doing my forehead so you see what I mean. Because you'll get, you're going to see a lot of fuzziness, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and just start in like little sections. You see how it's not just one line down? So I start like slowly, like just like if you're brushing down the hair, but it's removing the hair. Can you see the fuzziness right there? Look at that. Now I'm gonna go back and do the next, like like the next row. Look at all the fuzziness. And then you just keep going. And I go ahead and I just wipe all this off areas. I just wipe. And it's so much more smooth. I feel like you can totally see the difference. Now, how about I do half with this and then I'll do the other half with the little flawless device so you guys can see the difference. For some reason, though, I still find this super like way more satisfying than this. Um, but you know, we'll try both just so you guys can see. So for this, you have to really be careful because you don't want to like cut your eyebrow. So I just like to like start right here and look at how satisfying this is. Like you go in little increments. Okay. Look at how clean that is looking. But remember, I like to go in a natural. Ooh. Oh, they just fell off. But did you see that? Look at. I'm going to go back and do like your next row. Carefully around your eye area. Because that is a very sensitive area. Okay. Feels super smooth. I feel like it even looks cleaner than this side. So for this side, I'm going to go ahead and do this one, okay? So the way this works is you just twist the cap off, and in here is where the hair and the fuzzy the fuzzy stuff goes. And the instructions say that you just, like, kind of, like, go in circles, okay? Turn it on. I'm going to go here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start right here because... I have a mole where the, the hair obviously goes out of and I can definitely say it works because the hair is sticking out and when I go over it with the machine, it's totally painless, totally gets rid of the hair and I'm good. And this is definitely like more foolproof, I think, like when it comes to the hairline area uh, because it's literally... <coughs> Like, as long as you are confident with, like, what areas you're hitting. But this is definitely, like, not painful at all. It's literally like you're just massaging your face. Okay. There's fuzzies in here now, so I'll go ahead and I'll pour them in my... Look at all of them. It's like a halo of hair. That is freaking nuts. It's a mix of like my hair and like my moisturizer that I had on. So now I cleaned it and I'm just going to go ahead and do this one more time to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'll even go over my forehead just for the heck of it. I have this piece of wax here. That's what that is. Like I said, this is definitely like much more gentle, I feel like. Does my face look as clean on this side? I think it does. For some reason though, this one does feel a lot smoother. I think it's just this one gets like every freaking nook and cranny. You know what I mean? 
I'm gonna go ahead and get a little closer. my sideburn which cleaned up a little bit yeah that is all guys that is how you remove your hair fuzzies there you go so now i am super duper hairless and it feels so good so yeah my my face is so freaking smooth right now look at that really have never noticed that like my hair goes back differently um i'm terrified to grab like a real razor to my face so i will never ever do that but if you guys use a regular razor like i think i'm going by like an assumption i feel like that would make like me look like i had a beard or something growing up back when the hair was ready to grow back but um i may be wrong don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to go check out my vlog channel we are posting there more frequently than i'm here but yeah i have some exciting new things happening so i hope you guys like this video and um thank you to my niece that inspired this video because she was wondering if she should go ahead and remove her hair fuzz but was kind of scared of like you know when it came back so anyways um I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to follow me. All my info will be down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.